The video of today is for those who don't have any budget, who have zero dollar and want to make a living from home. And if everything goes well, they can make their financial freedom from home. This is based on my own experience because this is the path I followed myself to become what I am now. Okay, the CEO of a reputable Shopify agency. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do when you have zero dollar, zero money, but let me tell you something. You can't, for example, do drop shipping, you can't do do e-commerce, you can't do some difficult businesses without knowledge and without money. And anyone who is telling you the opposite, that you're gonna be rich in a few days or a few weeks by doing drop shipping with zero dollar. It's just a liar. Okay? So, let's assume you have zero dollar, zero money. The first thing you're going to need to start with, and this is what I did, is start by doing freelancing. There are a lot of freelancing websites that you can sign up to for free. In my example, I did, or I signed up to Fiverr.com. I signed up to Upwork.com and Freelancer.com, but I didn't get any orders and I didn't have the time to invest my time in those platforms. Okay, so uh, what was good for me, it was Fiverr. I signed up in 2017 as a buyer because I was buying from Fiverr, but I turned into a seller in about 2018. And I was selling kind of Shopify services, kind of development, uh, speed up. Uh, I learned coding from a website, it, call, it was called uh, w3schools.com so I learned a little bit of coding and I started doing some freelancing so I signed up for free I started getting orders for free because those marketplaces like Fiverr they do the marketing for you as soon as the title is attractive the thumbnail is attractive the description is attractive and as soon as you start getting some five-star reviews people start coming to you so this is the first thing that you're gonna start with Sign up to Fiverr.com, for example. This is just an example. There are a lot of freelance, freelancers' uh, websites. Sign up to Fiverr.com. Create your gig or your offer. And by talking about that, you can post your gig about everything that you can imagine. Uh, put yourself in a situation where you can write down your best skills and try to turn these skills into money-making machine for example you are good at uh, writing post a gig about writing you're gonna start writing for people start writing articles you're good at programming sell your service as programmer you're, you're good at graphic design at drawing at everything that you can imagine if you go to fiverr.com and you start scoring for the services you're gonna see a lot of services probably thousands and thousands of different services in my case it was kind of uh, Shopify development in e-commerce so once you get your first order for the beginning because the beginning is going to be so hard the beginning is going to be so hard to get an order or to get a sale while you have zero reviews zero credentials so try to reduce your prices at the minimum possible try not to chase money first okay once you get your first second third order once you get some reviews, try to work so hard to get those five reviews, start increasing your prices a little bit, okay? Let's say, for example, you posted a gig about, uh, about what? Writing articles. You write articles for $50. Once you start getting, for example, your third five-star reviews, try to increase the price just a little bit, just by $5. Let's say, for example, you posted at $50. Now you are selling it as $55. Next time at $60, $65, $70, 75 etc. And by the way, Fiverr took about 20% commission. But this is not a problem because they do marketing for you. You're going to notice that when you create your website. I'm coming into the discussion about this. So once you start getting some good reviews, once you start getting some clients, then you're going to start increasing your prices a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Let's say, for example, you have a 9 to 5 job. You go back from work. You got, for example, two or three orders. You're going to work for hard that. You're going to spend the night working for those clients to deliver the, the gig as soon as possible to get the reviews. 
now you're looking for reviews you are not looking for money once the time goes once you start getting some money take those money and start creating your own website for the expertise you were in on Fiverr and this is what I did I worked on Fiverr just a couple months probably four five or even a uh, maximum six months then you're gonna start creating your own website your own website could be an e-commerce store or a simple website you can create it by yourself by following some free tutorials and if you can't do it you can by yourself hire someone to create your own website but now you're not going to start selling from your own website because you don't have the traffic, you don't have the budget for marketing, for paid ads, etc. What you're going to need to do, you're going to start driving or start upselling to your previous clients from Fiverr. You can start talking about them that you have your own website and for example, you're going to give them a discount. And this way, you're going to start uh, making your own email list. And at this time you're still working on Fiverr as a freelancer and as the time goes you're gonna put your services on your website you're gonna start learning some SEO to rank this website on search engines like Google there are free some free courses or free videos I also have those free videos if you check my playlist about SEO that you can do yourself and as the time goes you're gonna start having some clients on on your own website but on your own website try to increase the price for example let's make it 10x or 15x let's say for example you were uh, you used to write articles for Fiverr clients as $50 now you sell uh, articles copywriting at $500 at $700 if you got just one client per month when you get your first client, try to reinvest this money to optimize your site, to get more traffic, to optimize the design, etc. And once the time goes, you're going to start having more clients that's going to pay more. Probably less clients, but more money. You're going to start making more money. In my case, when I was on Fiverr, I had a chance because I had a gig that was kind of I could I could say this was kind of viral gig this was uh, regarding Shopify speed at that time in 2019 all Shopify themes were slow so I started getting a lot of gigs about uh, people wanted to speed up their Shopify stores and at that time while I'm working on Fiverr I improved my coding skills on this website which is w3schools.com and I said to myself, now people are coming to me for a speed up gig. I was charging between $300 to uh, $600 for a gig to speed up Shopify stores. And I said to myself, now I have all the skills, I have all the programming and coding skills to create my own Shopify theme and I can create a website and I sell this Shopify theme as a product, as a digital product. And this is what I did. It took me about two months to create the website, to create the Shopify theme, to make it speed friendly by default. And once I launched it, once I optimized the SEO, I made a lot of sales. I made a lot of sales and this is how I began my journey into Shopify development. And this business I created in uh, about uh, 2020, I sold it in 2022 to someone from Australia and I created Scrope Agency that I am the CEO now. So this is what I did. Probably this is going to work for you. So I'm giving you a strategy. I'm not telling you this is going to work for you at 100%, but this is uh, a very good and efficient strategy. If it doesn't work for you, if you just got some money, if you couldn't gain your financial freedom, at least you're going to have a skill. You're going to learn how to talk to clients, how to read emails, how to send emails, how to create a website. And if a business doesn't work, you're going to learn something and probably you're going to do something better afterward. So I shared with you the strategy 
because this is what worked for me. Uh, I stopped doing freelancing on Fiverr in 2019, probably, or lately 2020. Probably things have changed, but you're gonna try to make your own way to market your services and product. And also, when you sign up to a freelance website, uh, don't forget to market your gig. For example, some people they sign up to Fiverr, they publish their gig, and they don't market their product. Try to market yourself by doing. Uh, some YouTube videos like I'm doing now by sharing content on social media, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, etc. to get clients that's gonna pay you for your services. So this was a quick advice, but this is this was very efficient, I think. If you have any question about this topic, guys, put in the comments below. I will be glad to answer. See you in the next video.